don't know if I'm allowed to say, but I might just say anyways. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, okay. I know I'm a short one. I'm short too, so it's fine. I met you a couple Saturdays ago at Staples. You Snapchatted my drawing. I'm the weirdo that fangirled over you. No, you're not weird. That yes, was I am. amazing. Yeah. You just like, what? like what? It's, it's not the best, but I tried. So. No, no, no. That drawing you did was absolutely incredible. You don't even know. All our girls were freaking out about how, the detail. I couldn't. Not even my good ones. I have to do. I can draw one. stick figures, and that's it. Hey, that's better than nothing. Um, but I'm most excited to talk to you tonight. I'm a big fan. Um, what's it like, kind of being in this celebrity world now, coming from the Olympics? It's interesting. I mean, I didn't do anything like this before August or before the Olympics. So. Now I'm doing Dancing with the Stars, I'm on tour with our gymnastics team, and I'm coming to movie premieres, so this is my first one, it's really exciting, and yeah, I'm excited. Well, you're killing it, and you have to be one of the hardest working people right now. You're flying all over the country, doing almost every tour stop, and then rehearsing how many hours a day? Like, how, how are you keeping this energy up? Um, well, I mean... It's just remembering that I have all these amazing opportunities around me and not a lot of people get to experience what I do, so I'm just grateful in every moment and I think that's where all my energy comes from. You killed it this week on the show. What can your reaction like is amazing. You have so many gifts that can be made of you to be used for I'm everything. gonna melt. I'm I gonna melt. It. I feel like you would be so good but bad at the like try not to laugh challenge. Oh yeah. It would either be really good or really bad, so. Uh, what can you tease about this next dance coming up? It's about the most memorable year of your life, which I kind of well, imagine what it would be. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but I might just say anyways. Um, <laughs> so we're doing a Paso Doble, which is going to be really exciting. And the song is pretty slow, but it's intense. It's another one of those quesadilla sniffing moments. Oh, no, no, no. It's possibly crying. No, I'm kidding. Oh, no. I'm kidding. I don't see you but no, 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 I won't be crying, but... It's very intense and um, I'm really excited. We're already st starting to talk about details and outfits and it's intense, very intense. So we're playing a game of first and worst because this is called, you know, middle school, worst years of my life. Just a couple real quick. Who was your first celebrity crush? Um, always was and always is Dave Franco. I mean, him and Theo James. What would you say is your worst habit? My worst habit? Um, probably doing this in an interview. <laughs> my mom has told me to stop doing that. I pucker my lips a lot and I also bite my nails. And last one, what was your first impression of Val? My first impression of Val? Um, well, actually, I had watched him on Dancing with the Stars beforehand and I was like, wow, he's kind of strict. So when he first came in, I was kind of like, oh man, this year's going to be great. He's going to push me. And he definitely does. But secretly, he's like a giant teddy bear. He's super sweet. Awesome. Can I, can I get a picture real quick? Yeah, of course. I didn't really get to get one that last time. I'm glad I got to see you You're again. You're amazing. I also really love her.